He served in the Falklands War, did six tours of duty in Northern Ireland and was posted to conflict zones in the Middle East. Despite that, his 18-year career in the Royal Navy was ended by his bisexuality. I was living a double life. I was living my own life, doing the job which I loved. And at the same time, I was watching everything I was saying, everything I was doing, who I was associating myself with. And uh, you had to watch your back all the time. Even though he received a long service and good conduct medal in 1991, two years later he says he was forced to disclose his sexuality and was dismissed on the grounds that his conduct was prejudicial to good order and naval discipline. The medal was taken away. Straight after the, 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 they found me guilty, they took me to a little room away, or just to one side of the courtroom. Uh, then a writer came in with a pair of scissors and said, sorry, mate, I've got to have this, and just um, cut it off my, my tunic. What did that feel like? Uh, it made me feel dreadful. Um, I felt that the 18 years which I'd served, this was all it, it was worth. Joe's now suing for the return of his military honours. In a statement today, the Ministry of Defence said, as legal proceedings are ongoing, it would be inappropriate to comment, but added, we are currently looking at how personnel discharged from the service because of their sexuality or now abolished sexual offences can have their medals returned. As for Joe, he's very clear about what he wants. Well, I've been fighting for 25 years to get them to do this, and all I want is my medal back. I'm not, I'm not taking this case on board just for myself, I'm taking it for hundreds of other people who have also gone through the, you know, the same uh, proceedings. After 25 years, the Ministry of Defence may be able to return his medal, but they can't give him back the career he loved. Ruth Liptrot, Five News.